Hobby, hobby, hobby station. If you're new around here, welcome back to Squid Island. We got a bunch of things that I want to do today because I have plans. Let me just take Humpy out this shed real quick. He needs some fresh air. You see that tower over there? Well, last episode, the president logo basically sold it to me for one piece of bread. The awkward part is that that was technically Jelly's uh, thing to sell, but the president made it mine again, so we are tearing it down today. Another really important thing that I gotta get across is that we are currently second place in the votes to become the next president. Apparently, a lot of you guys want me to become the next president. What's that chest over there? You see that over there in the distance? Humpy, what's that? <laughs> Look at Humpy when I walk. Oh, this is cute. Anyway, so I just want to say go vote right now and we legitimately have a chance to actually win. I'll tell you later on why I think you should vote. Humpy, did you just step in that? Bro, that's not smart. Humpy, stop it, dude. What the heck is wrong with you? Do you just like fire or something, buddy? You are a menace to society. Just kidding. I love you, bud. Gift for Craner from Jelly Inc. Jelly Ink? Wait, what is Jelly Ink? He gave me a book? Ha! Dear Craner, Jelly Ink just opened its doors and you are free to come have a look at our services. As a fellow business, we're giving you a 75 depression discount on our guard services. This will only be valid for four weeks. Kind regards, Jelly Ink. Uh, so he started a business too? I guess this is in retaliation for... <laughs> Me getting his land because I started Hump Eco. Yeah, it's named after you, Humpy. That's right. And we are the greatest business on Squid Island. Josh over there with his bark co trying to be all important. Well, guess what? Humpy Co is going to be better eventually. Before we get to all the things that I want to do today and why I think you should vote for me as a president, I think it's important that we check out what Jelly's been up to. Because apparently he's been up to a lot. Humpy, you are way too big to fit through this door. I don't uh, I don't trust Humpy to just walk around all nilly-dilly free and stuff like that. So I'm going to tie him up again. But at least he lives in a really cool place. And actually today, I have a plan for him that'll be even better. Let me just close this behind us, Humpy. I do not want to lose you, okay? You're the most important guy I know. Do you think Jelly's ultimate plan is to say he's also got a business so he should get the land back? I'm kind of starting to doubt if there are ulterior motives here behind him starting up a business, but I guess we should first fix- Whoa! I guess we should first figure out what the heck his business even is. Bros upgraded his pyramid. I think this is the first pyramid of his that actually looks good, dude. Never mind, I uh, take that back a little bit. Apparently, it's not even done, but it's a lot of work, so perhaps he's just gonna come back later, you know? Check out our services. Well, that's what I want, buddy. Welcome to Jelly Inc. See a list of our services below. Alarm system installation includes motion sensors and TNT if wanted. Guard service. Trained guards will be provide on-site security. What? Consultation. Let us assess. <laughs> Let us assess your requirements and give you a detailed overview. Investigate services. We will help uncover information and gather. Dang, dude, that's kind of cool. Please ring the bell if unattended. I don't know what he's planning will happen because there's nobody else on the server. What a bad service. Okay, well, he has officially started a security company. That is kind of creative. You know what? I can't even hate on that. Good job, Jelly. And just like that, if you vote for me as a president in the link down in the description below, I will assure you that my vibes towards the other two people will always be the best. Who's been the most positive throughout this entire Squid Island series? I have me, Vote Crater 2024. That reminds me, now that we're talking about presidents and voting and stuff like that. Uh, oh yeah, new flag too, if you guys missed it. It's kind of cool. But Josh, whoa, this has been upgraded too. Jeez, what's going on? This looks awesome. See, good vibes. Josh gave us a task to uh, give him 36 gold ingots. Well, it's not really for him. It's for the vault down here that I built where we will store all of our valuables. I'll just show you real quick if you've been missing out a little bit. Look, we have him down here and I guess he wants to add gold to it too. 
So one thing we got to do today is get 36 gold ingots. It's pretty easy. I mean, we just got to go mine. I've got fortune on my pickaxe. It's got to be an easy, easy, lemon squeezy thing. But my land needs a giant revamp. And we need to get rid of that tower over there, first of all. It is going to take a little bit of time to actually get rid of it. Because gosh dang it, it is huge and annoying and... Am I going to miss the giant Among Us figure on my land? No, I am really not going to miss it. Thank you for asking. See, I'm not going to say that I'm excited about doing this, but I am excited about the finished product. It is really nice that I finally own all of my land again. Josh and Jelly have nothing in my land anymore, and that just feels nice for me. I know some of you guys were a little bit upset about the process last time, and yes, Jelly might have been treated a little bit unfairly. But I think it's healthy for all of us to have our own parts of the island anyway. And let's be honest. Jelly was not doing a gosh dang thing with the lava tower. You guys all know it's true, okay? It's been standing the same way for weeks and weeks and weeks. And that is another thing that Creator President 2024 can promise you that won't happen under my reign. I will not let people get boring and complacent. I will keep them on their toes and I will make sure that every build is useful, which is also what we're going to do today here. I just got to get rid of all this obsidian first, then, um, then we can start talking about what I want to do with this land. You know what I didn't think about? Uh, it's the fact that all of these pillars are kind of like annoying because uh, how am I going to tear them all down? I guess the best thing is just to go straight down like this then repeat the process four times on the other pillars too. Oh no dude. This is going to take so long to do and it's not even like my most important thing today. Well it is actually because I want to get rid of it but I've got so many more things I want to do. I cannot believe how freaking annoying this has been to do. But you know what also is my presidential thing? And I said this last time too. If you want to get something right, you gotta do it yourself. And guess what? Kratos a presidential candidate that is not afraid of getting his hands dirty. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. You see me working hard. We just got a little bit more to go. And then we can start planning on what we want to do next. There's no better feeling seriously than me right now removing netherrack from my island i know it technically wasn't my island but nobody can tell me that it didn't feel like my island still okay it was in my heart in my heart it was always my island so it feels nice to finally get rid of this stupid on fire netherrack you know what you can stay over on jelly's land i'm not gonna judge what he's got going on over there if he wants netherrack all over the place, so be it. I just don't want this ugly block on my land. And Humpy can burn himself on the fire. What are you thinking, Jelly, you crazy guy? Okay, this is the last pieces I'm going to get rid of. And then we can officially call it Craner Land once again. Or I guess Humpy Coal Land once again. Ta-da! We finally did it. Vault Crater 2024. Link is down in the description below. Okay, I gotta get an empty inventory for what is coming next. You see, for a while now, I have had the feeling that we needed some major changes on our land. We have a camel. What do the camels like? They like sand, right? And I want our land to kind of like set itself apart from the other people's land. Josh has grass. Jelly has netherrack. I don't want to also have grass. So we are making this a giant playground for Humpy himself. He's no longer going to have to stay in Humpy Station. I will release him to the entire land for him to frolic as much as he wants to. In order to make my dreams come true, we're going to need a boat and we are going to need a crap load of sand. And I'm kind of tired of ruining the turtle's habitat over there. So I'm actually going to find sand elsewhere. It is indeed once again time for... Ba -ba 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 boat time! I've got the shirt on. Available on Kratosloth.com. Go get it. So I'm actually thinking I'm going to fill my entire inventory with sand. Then start replacing each grass block with sand. That's kind of my plan right now. And we've also got to get gold and build an HQ. So we're going to be busy today, ladies and gentlemen. Very busy. Oh, yeah. Exactly what I need right here. Okay. 
Luckily, I've got a really good shovel, so it might not take that long to fill my inventory, but it's still gonna be a lot of work. So let's just get to work and get as much sand as I can. I can't believe I'm doing all this for a camel, but you know what? That's just the type of person I am, so you should definitely vote Trader 2024. I actually, by the way, I'm really hyped that we're so close in the votes. Like, I think last time I looked, we are beating Jelly, but it's like by a very little. So I just want to make sure we actually beat him. So please go vote, guys. Come on. Come on, please. We are kind of the underdog around here. We don't have as many subscribers as the other guys. But that's never stopped us before. All right. And I don't think it's going to stop us today either. A few moments later. And just like that, we are done. Okay, we need to go back home now and uh, start doing the renovations. Hello, beautiful humpy land. We have returned with a bunch of new items. Dude, this is all for you, humpy. I hope you're happy. Okay, so first of all, the very easy thing to actually go ahead and change right off the bat is this island. And we can kind of make it however and whatever we want it to be, right? So I'm going to get rid of everything that was here before. And we're going to make it our very own special place. This is a very important island because this is where Humpy Co. headquarters will be. And also my crib. The headquarters will also be my crib. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. Now we just need to sort of like decide how big this island is actually going to be and i'm guessing i'm gonna make it pretty big because uh you know it's humpy co it's important dude you know what i'm saying i don't know exactly how big i'm gonna make this hmm. i mean it's an hq right so it needs to be big but i'm kind of thinking it's gonna be tall so it doesn't have to be as wide as Maybe I thought I'm, I'm still figuring it out in my head kind of but I think I've got the general idea of what I want to do at least Okay, let me go look at this. Is this fine? I think it is I think it is fine Also, I need to actually take into account that the railway station is there and I think it's probably legal to tear that down So let's make it this big so let's remove some of all of this and just stop placing the sand randomly everywhere it's like a slow takeover of my island and turning it into humpy co humpy co is of course very camel friendly it is named after the best camel in the world i don't know about you guys but i really don't want to go to the desert like 50 times today so let's try to make it as easy on ourselves as possible also i gotta figure out what the path is gonna be made out of now that we're doing sand, I don't even know. All right, removing some more dirt. And as you can see, it is slowly spreading to all sides of my island. I just want to make it clear to everybody that this is Humpy Coland now. And I think this gets the point across. And then eventually, the whole island will just be a fun park for Humpy to enjoy, dude. Okay, I want to say this is done now with how it's looking. I just got to do it to like the rest of the island too. And then we've got to build our HQ and then we'll start worrying about the tax. Okay, I swear every part of, of Squid Island has been blown up at one point and you can still tell. Like, look at this. I'm going to have to actually fill it out like this because I'm going insane. We need to do a little bit of sand work over here then. But then I seriously have to get started on the HQ or I will never get started today if I have to replace all of my land in one episode. So we are working on the HQ in just a moment. By the time that I do my next solo, we will have humpy roaming around free just like he deserves to in something that i'm gonna try to make look like a desert even more dude i might even bring cactus in here too for him i'll do anything for my beloved animal and that's why i'm gonna stop i'm sorry go vote though all right well that was pretty good progression so far but we've still got the hq to finish and we also gotta pay taxes so it was fun while it lasted but i think it looks pretty good right now obviously it's gonna look better when it's done okay so the hq i want it to be on this island right and i want it to be a tall thing very big humpy is a very important person so he's gonna need a lot of space and especially if i name my uh, company after such an important guy it's gonna have to be a big building that it's in i'll start by sort of like building it here here and here 
I think I'm gonna try to go for something kind of like that one because I really like how that building turned out. And that's pretty easy to do. You just sort of go like this, right? It's kind of like a pyramid, but better. Bro, I'm so happy I've got all of these stone bricks and stuff. That's gonna save me so much time, but look at what i've already done i've put the outline in and it is uh, definitely very very big it's a lot bigger than that one that's for sure but it's also our headquarters so people need to understand that it's an important place that they are entering right so i think in between these columns just like that one over there i'm still gonna go stone brick because stone brick and sand just looks really good together so let's bring this over here too there we go now, the entrance is gonna have to be kind of weird, but I'll have to figure out exactly what I'm actually gonna do here. Then I need to connect these two as well, and this is sort of why the entrance is gonna be odd. I guess the doll would have to be here, but I mean, that works. I'm gonna have to get a lot more stone. Actually, and while I'm getting stone, I'll also get the gold. Squid City Mine. How many people have actually been using this mine? Because I really haven't been using it a lot. But hopefully some people have left behind gold or something good like that. I'm definitely just going to need stone too. Let me just Google real quick what the best place to find gold is in terms of like height and stuff. The best way to find gold in Minecraft is by heading down to Y level minus 16. Dang, okay, it's so different from old Minecraft, dude. The bad thing about this is, though, that most of the stone down here is gonna be, like, the stone I don't need. But it's pretty much on this level. So if I can find gold... Ooh. That's a pretty good bet. I mean, it's probably gonna be... Oh, yeah, there's gold over there. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to gather the stone separately, because I can't use this stone for anything. This is like jelly stone. Look at this, though. The fortune is gonna make this easy, bro. So easy. I've already got 12, man. Wow, 15? Hey, get out of here. I'm not allowed to get to carry weapons or armor, so I'm actually a little bit afraid of zombies now. Okay, I bet, like, none of us have really mined gold in this series that much, so there's probably... Yeah, there's some up there too, right? Yeah, dude, this is so easy. This is an easy task. This might even be enough. I mean, if this is a big enough vein, gold of vein, vein of gold, then I'll be fine. It's not. But hey, it was a pretty good thought, though. I've got 18. I need 36, I believe. Okay, stay on the lookout, everybody. Oh, never mind. It didn't really need you to be on the lookout, but thank you. See, if you vote... <laughs> if you vote Crater 2024, I do things on my own. You know, I am an independent man, and I get things done really that's why you should vote for me i'm running out of reasons please just go vote for me man i want to try to be the president because like if you guys remember this is a big like throwback but if you guys remember when i was the mayor they didn't listen to me once i pretty much had the worst mayor run because neither jelly nor josh would actually listen to me so i feel like i never got the chance to actually control anything so I want to prove my leadership skills. Also, I found more gold and I almost died while talking, but I didn't. And that's why you should vote for me because I'm good at fighting monsters. Okay. Okay. That's almost enough. I mean, just need a little bit more and then, then we're Gucci. This should be enough. Come on. No. Oh, yes, dude. That's exactly enough. Okay. We need to go back up now and actually gather cobblestone. Which is pretty easy. I just need to mine a... Oh, no. I just need to mine a lot of this stuff. Maybe I should go up a little bit. Jesus. There's seriously something everywhere on this island. I think this is Jelly's old, like, TNT trap that he did on us. Anyway, let's, uh, let's mine a bunch of rock and hopefully have enough to finish off the build. It's gonna require a lot, but I'm not lazy. I'll get it done. Let's get a bunch of this cooking, and I guess we need more furnaces, honestly, because this is going to be a lot of work, and I also need to cook the actual gold that we got, so let me put that there and there, take out some coal, put some up there with that, and there, and there, fill this up a little bit more, because I don't think that's going to cut it for the whole stack, and then I'm going to continue on my build. Woo, buddy! Okay, this is, uh, 
<laughs> this is a big build, but I seriously think it's gonna look amazing once it's done, dude. And it means that Humpy Co has a bright future in sight, and I cannot wait for that future to actually be here. It'll be here soon enough, okay? Look at how far I have come with Humpy Co, dude. I'll show you guys in a second, but before I forget it, I need to pay my taxes. So I'll put that right there. Jelly paid 38. Is he trying to show me up? Hi, this is Crater from the future. I forgot to pledge allegiance today, and I also forgot to actually give Josh a gift. So I failed at the task, and I failed at pledging allegiance. I think I might be in trouble in the next group video then. Anyway, back to current Craner being dumb. Welcome to Humpy Headquarters. It is it's seriously still being developed, but I did not account for this video taking like almost four hours at this point. I'm gonna have to wrap it up here and finish this off before the next group video, but you have my word that I'll do it. And you guys know you can trust me, and that's why you should vote for me. Link is down in the description below. Humpy Co HQ. You see that? Dang, it looks good. Humpy, I'm gonna set you out next video as well. You're gonna be able to roam the lands freely because I care for animals. I really do.